if you put your money in anything which first compounds and second has some you know asset class which gives you inflation beating you know so any asset class you're investing in aapka main goal hona chahiye 8% upar you have to kind of make money in it tabhi aapka real return ban raha hai hello and welcome back to paisa bolta hai मैं हूं आपकी होस्ट मृदांजलि रावल आई एम सो हैप्पी टू इंट्रोड्यूस टूडेज गेस्ट स्नेहा जैन हर जर्नी ऑफ बिकमिंग वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रनोर इज ऑ इंस्पायरिंग सो हैप्पी टू हैव यू ऑन पैसा बोलता है स्नेहा हाउ आर यू डूइंग टूडे वेरी वेल वेरी वेल थैंक यू मृदांजलि फॉर हैविंग मी यो आई एम रियली रियली एक्साइटेड टू डू दिस सो यस लेट स्टार्ट सो स्नेहा एवरी वन हैज मेंटर्स इन देयर ओन लाइफ राइट who was the one person who introduced you to investing so i would i would like to put it out like that um uh, finance and numbers has always been uh, my strong point you know which is not a stereotype you know women and finance and numbers are always uh, uh, don't go hand in hand that's the stereotype we all go with yes. uh, but i have been very fortunate after completing my masters i came back i worked for mncs so what there i had a lot of peers and my own manager uh, they really uh, uh, you know that gave me a very very good start to you know look at investing uh, from a very different uh, horizon altogether because i have never been in the investing uh, you know piece during college or i've never seen any of my family into this so it was very very new for me very very uh, enduring exciting uh, so you know it always attracted me uh, and the fact that no one you know in my immediate family did that um, so um, i took the leap of faith one day i was like uh, you know i have worked for 5 6 years now i would like to kind of you know do this on my own my journey was like okay let's let's just you know uh, let's take this leap of faith and let's start off and i just started off uh, but of course running a business was also very very different and that's where i think a lot of mentorship came from uh, you know my father my brother and my husband so you know i have great uh, you know uh, men uh, you know uh, men counting on women. me supporting me um, which is very very different than you know a lot of women would have so i think that was very very uh, special for me to kind of you know take on that journey um and also a very important part here you know we always hear of the great investors right and it's warren buffet or you know in india rakesh junjunwala very few women are great investors you know or we hear about so i think i want to bring that change and that somewhere you know the journey uh, is how i look at it Awesome. So very beautifully, you gave credit to all the men in your family. <laughs> so the perception is women is behind man's success, but today time is changing. So happy to see that that's happening with you. And uh, even I have my father has supported me, my brother has supported me. So times are really changing. <laughs> anyway, so um, at what point did you see that um, this is a active career option for you? I think as soon as I came back right I didn't I didn't go back to joining a, a family business that I could have uh I I went on to do the job right and it it really intrigued me so much that I was sure my career is going to look like that whether starting on my own was an option or not maybe not initially 4 5 years I mean I was just learning right I mean starting an investing career by yourself is is of course another ball game altogether So yes initially uh, because I was so intrigued with finance and numbers I was in the right spot I would say <laughs> but yes uh, as as much as I started working uh, I was I I I really wanted to eventually do things on my own uh, you know uh, make investing as a journey very very different for the audience which I think I didn't find in the places I was working so yeah. that's when i thought no i want to set up something where it is a very client first approach than being a product first approach and that's when you know my firm came into a uh, place uh, sounds interesting so there are so many sub categories in the market right so why did you choose uh, personal finance and stock market advisory 
so i think for me it was um, again very very natural uh, you know uh, element of what i was doing i have a very technical background so i was part of the amc so which is the investment uh, piece right so i knew my products really well because that's the job that i was doing so because my job was into the product investing products uh, perspective right so how do you broaden that aspect so that can only happen through the personal finance and the stock uh, advisory piece and not the other uh, you know various uh, verticals within the finance domain so for me i think it was a very natural uh, you know shift from uh, what i was doing to you know where i want to kind of build this so given the current economic climate and inflation rate in india what strategies would you recommend for individuals to grow their wealth and combat inflation effectively to beat inflation the only solution is to be part of the equity market agar aap equity market mein you know you're not taking uh, exposure to equity market or asset classes which beat inflation okay equity is very broad theek hai equity doesn't mean only stock picking okay it can be very broad but equity has to be part of your portfolio for you to beat inflation at least at the retail level yeah. okay so agar aap bahut hi conservative ho and you are just putting money in a fd or you know in very very traditional asset classes ya aapki soch hai ki hum property le lete hain land le lete hain that all was not going to help you create wealth and isliye having equity is very important but asset allocation is equally important right there have been years when gold as an asset class has done very well but uska reason is also because of the uh, you know usd inr exchange rate but nevertheless if you do asset allocation if you put your money in anything which first compounds and second has some you know asset class which gives you inflation beating you know so any asset class you're investing in aapka main goal hona chahiye 8% upar you have to kind of make money in it tabhi aapka real return ban raha hai one last question for you before we go ahead to you know rapid fire what personal finance tips would you like to share with our audience personal finance is about sitting on your income expense first figuring that out ye sabse basic hai <laughs> pehle to pata karo kitna aap बचा पा रहे हो राइट एंड देन डू द मैथ अराउंड दैट बिकॉज अगर आपके पास वही बेसिक नहीं है एंड आप सीधा जाके बोल रहे हो मेरे पास इतना सरप्लस है ये इन्वेस्ट करूंगा बट आई वॉन्ट द बेस्ट फंड यू टेल मी विच फंड विल मेक मी द बेस्ट मनी वन टू ईयर्स थ्री ईयर्स इट कैन डू वेल बट दिस इज नॉट द वे टू डू पर्सनल फाइनेंस इट हैज टू बी वेरी होलिस्टिक गोल प्लानिंग एवरी थिंग हैज टू बी सोल्यूशन ओरिएंटेड what are you trying to achieve with this money what are you trying to do with this money so categorizations are very very important put out goals as per small uh, short term medium term long term so medium term could be you need to buy a house you need to have children you need to fund their education long term is of course you need to kind of look out for your retirement which is inevitable you don't want to be dependent on your child or anybody to kind of fund you then short term can be car buy karni hai so when you bucket all these things you will plan really well and then you are not in a you know circle of finding the best stock best fund it's not that it's about making the math work for you okay and build a emergency fund build a health insurance take a proper purus policy because these are the hygiene checks within personal finance So if you don't have the hygiene checks and you're just going and investing, that won't help because when you have a problem, right, you are going to remove money from your investment which was meant for ten years. That's why you were investing as per that asset allocation. So keep your hygiene checks in place to do all of that. And the last point in in uh, personal finance is keep your asset allocation in a way where the risk is something that you can take. don't be just aggressive because your friend is aggressive <laughs> yeah 
so that happens in stock market mostly of course. it's more of a you <laughs> say one one person has bought a stock other person also wants to go ahead with it but that's definitely not a right approach uh, yes. so we at stock grow can help you with the with this approach and experts like sneha can definitely help you with the with how to go about this approach okay so we come to the last segment it's called rapid fire very it's a excited. very popular <laughs> segment yeah so uh, you have to be very quick don't take too much time that's the fun part right okay we'll start name two stock market books you recommend one is um, psychology of money because it uh, gives you insight on holding on and one is let's talk money uh, that is by monica hallen but that's more on personal finance i I'm, love these two books i'm going to read uh, let's talk money <laughs> please do <laughs> okay <laughs> next question is name three stock market influencers you admire If you're talking about stock market, uh, you know people who make it easy to understand. Uh, so there is Sharan. I think he's very good the way he writes. Uh, you know, um, some of his write-ups are very good. Uh, Ankur Varicko is also a very interesting uh, person. I feel uh, who writes well. And uh, there's Finn Cocktail, who's on Instagram. That these two girls who make finance look very, very easy. So yes. <laughs> Name the most important trait required for stock market success. a uh, mental frame <laughs> that's the one thank you so much sneha for sharing such incredible insights with us if you guys have more questions feel free to comment below and we will get back to you with the answers thank you so much for joining us today thank you it was a pleasure really i really enjoyed it thank you Thank you so much Sneha for sharing such helpful insights with us today on personal finance and investing. Guys, if you have any questions, comment below. We'll get back to you with the answers. We'll come back with many more episodes of Paisa Bolta Hai. Till then stay tuned.